Hi guys, welcome to today's video with your host, Dr. Fuganja. Today we're talking about can I be friends with benefits or can I be friends with this woman? Uh, the short answer is no, you can't. Uh, women are literally batshit crazy right now. They are full of mental illnesses and diagnoses and DSM criterias. So the answer to that is no, you can't be nice to a woman or be friends with a woman. No, depends on the woman. You can be nice to them sometimes. But um, the answer to your question is the only way the friendship will work is if you don't have hidden agendas. Because if you have a hidden agenda, that will lead to a resentment in one person. So if Kathy moves in with you and you've been wanting to, you've been wanting a roommate really bad because you really want a girlfriend and you really want a loving partner to have coffee with every day and talk about Jesus. And then, you know, you see Kathy at work and she really wants to be, you know, she needs a roommate. She keeps talking about how she needs a roommate. She needs a place to stay. She's your friend at work and you've been wanting, you've been kind of secretly wanting a girlfriend anyway. So you're kind of hoping that Kathy might, you know, give you a chance and be your girlfriend. So you let her move in with you and you have this, you know, secret desire to make Kathy your girlfriend and to have coffee with her and have a loving relationship. Well, maybe Kathy actually is gay and she's actually a closet lesbian. She doesn't like men at all, but she hasn't shared that with you. And so now you're left being the roommate with all these unmet needs. Maybe you're not having sex with anybody at the moment and you were hoping you could have sex with Kathy. Um, you're not getting loved by anyone. Maybe no one at the time is really loving on you and you were hoping Kathy would be that person to snuggle with and wipe away your tears. So um, basically, if one of the parties has those hidden agendas, I want to be your boyfriend, I want to be your girlfriend, that's what can lead to a lot of problems in the relationship because one person, let's say Kathy, all she was really seeking was housing. All she was really, really wanted was a place to lay her head down at night. She wasn't thinking about being this guy's, her coworker's girlfriend because she hadn't told anyone at work, but she's actually a robo lesbian. Like she literally just wants to be with women all the time uh, in her private sexual life. She just thinks about women. So this, this roommate that she's living with um, is like beating his head against the wall because all this effort. Hey, Kathy, let's go to Dunkin' this morning. Hey, Kathy, let's go to the coffee shop this morning. Hey, Kathy, let's go out to eat. I'll buy dinner. All these behaviors were with a secret agenda of trying to be the person's boyfriend. So now one of the roommates, the guy that let her come stay, now he's kind of closetly resenting her, feels rejected by Kathy because he didn't know she was a lesbian. You know, he didn't know that she had no interest in him at all. He, she, he thought, geez, she's moving in with me. She must be a little interested. Come to find out she just wanted housing. She just wanted a place to stay. So to sum up this video, you really can't be like friends with benefits with a girl unless you guys have the same expectations or, you know, having a girl living with you unless you guys have the same expectations or even dating somebody unless you guys have the same expectations because it's those hidden secret agendas that you're not letting your friend know, that you're not letting your partner know, that you're not letting your husband or your wife know those secret hidden agendas that really mean a lot to you. Hey, I want to be loved. Hey, I want to have a woman that wants to have sex with me. Maybe if you hadn't let Kathy move in, Sally, you met the night, the next night after that, you met Sally and she was looking for a roommate to have sex with and to be a girlfriend with. So you totally blew it letting the lesbian move in with you because you were so quick to get those needs met. Maybe if you let things happen more naturally, let things flow more naturally. Maybe you wait, you wait for the roommate situation for the girl that comes up and she's touching you. That can be a sign a girl likes you. Or, uh, you know, rubbing your back. Girls will go up, come up and behind guys they like, they'll rub their back. You know, there's all these red flags that women do, right? You know, like a girl the other day punched me in the face. That might be a red flag. She doesn't like me. 
anyway, guys, that's to sum up, sum up today's video is you want to let those hidden expectations with your new roommate, let it put it right out there. Hey, 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 just letting you know that I'm, I'm looking for a girlfriend right now. Is that anything that you are interested in? Do you want a partner? Actually, Henry, I'm fucking gay. That would have taken care of it the first day. You see what I'm saying? A little bit of communication goes a long way. Till next time, Dr. Fuganja signing out.